Hey guys, and welcome back to Carrier. So, after a little bit of looking around and fiddling and all that good stuff, apparently we need to go back up to the electrical room, which we walked past. Now, I did wonder... We did actually uh, go into the electrical room, but as nothing looks like... <laughs> there's nothing there that looks like you could interact with it, you know? There's no visual clues, and as we've already done all that with Jack, um, I just assumed that that was a dead end. Yeah, I know, that's on me. You know, you should never assume in these things. So, we need to go to the electrical subsystem, which is there. Okay, cool. Ah, uh, what a ball lake. And I'm still finding the fact that the actual performance of this game is very inconsistent. I mean, as I've said before, sometimes we're getting a lovely smooth 60 FPS in some rooms, and in other rooms it feels like you're you're running in, I don't know, 10 frames a second. It's so stuttery. It's 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 really strange. But, um, as much as people, you know, celebrate the Dreamcast for its uh, focus on 60 FPS gaming and, and, and all that stuff, and it was pretty good for it, an overwhelming number of the titles actually do have lots of uh, drop frames in them. There's very few Dreamcast games that I can think of that actually were buttery smooth. In fact, lots of them had horrendous frame rates. I always live there. I always remember Slave Zero being one. Even as a kid, um, I used to get very frustrated with that game. Um, another one that sticks out in my mind is Quake 3 Arena. That didn't run too badly, but it definitely struggled. I do remember that one struggling on certain maps pretty significantly. Uh, we also had Soldier of Fortune, which had moments where it was just absolutely unplayable, even as a kid. Now, this is where we need to be. Okay. Even Toy Commander would uh, have certain missions that lagged up quite significantly. Now, let's... Display will not turn on. It's broken. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Uh. Right. So. What's the rub here? So we can turn everything off. Power empty, power full. Okay. Hmm. Ah, right. I see. So, one is passageway two. So that's bringing power up to those areas. But why are they orange? I mean, that's everything but the ward room. I guess orange is good. <laughs> Which one's the ward room? Ah, oh, that's just that one room in there. Okay. Okay, well, how about... Uh, how about that, then? So... What does that actually do? Right. So I'm guessing we've got more power in this place now. 
which is a good thing. Um. Th right. This. Oh, this is the wardroom. Okay. Well, I mean, I guess we don't really need power to be on in here anyway. Um. Cool. Well, let's go back to exploring. So, what rooms? I'm getting the feeling there aren't really any... Well, I must have done something. There must be some dodgy room somewhere that is reactivated, I guess. <sighs> um, right, well, let's go down here for prosperity. Now, there was a door shut down here, I'm sure, I'm sure of it. So, ah. Right, we couldn't go through here before, I think. So, what room's this? Ooh. Oh, fuck. Right, well, no surrender. Get fucked. Can I actually fire this gun pretty quickly? Yeah, so we... Ah, look, there's an item here straight away. Nameplate. Okay. Cool. Alright, so progress, guys. Dismiss that stupid little puzzle out, and uh, that fucked us over, apparently. Any goodies in here? Apparently not. Although I don't know how accurate that is. So what's this nameplate all about then? Ah, with a nine-digit crew number. Well, okay. I mean... <sighs> all that for that. Sure, I guess. Everything seems normal. All right. So I guess we're going to go back down. Nice. Although... Hmm. Do we want to go back down there? I guess now we've got the nine digit what's a majig. We can actually. Yeah. Get down here. Cool. Right. Sure. Fine. Good. Excellent. Back on track, motherfuckers. Uh, we don't want to go through. Through there, though. Oh, yeah, we need to go up. Yeah. Getting confused with the map again, because, you know, um, the whole multi level stuff, which doesn't seem to really work very well at all. Now, let's go round and through here. Yeah, I mean, my guess now would be just to go straight back down that uh, that door nine digit code i'm guessing she's gonna put the nine digit code in automatically i guess um all right oh well 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 that was nice um I am wondering. Now we've powered. I'm pointing to the screen. You can't see it. I am wondering. Now we've powered that. Can we? Actually, go around that corner. I wonder where the lasers were. Maybe that's why they weren't doing anything because we didn't have any power in this room. Maybe there actually is something down there. So that's back down there through that door up and around to the laser sensor. Yeah, because it doesn't make any sense that there's nothing there. It really doesn't make any sense. There has to be something there. There has to be, surely. Hmm. Because, to be honest, there's been nothing really in this game to pick up at all. 
Is it that one? It's not that one, is it? Oh, god damn it. This place is so confusing. Ugh, okay. Right. This place is way too confusing. Alright, I mean, we've taken out pretty much all of the bad guys, which is cool. But the fact that there's just two energy drinks there is very sus to me. I don't really get why that was there. Because we definitely would have picked them up otherwise. So, are they going to spawn more goodies up and around the corner where these lasers were? I guess there's only one way to find out. Now, do we want to go through there or do we want to go... Yeah, so we want to drop down here. Very curious. Hmm... Okay. Now these lasers. Yeah. Okay. So where does this lead? Right, there's this. Ah, oh, yeah, that was locked, blocked off. Ah, oh, okay. I mean, I guess not then. Yeah, so that, eh, that walking through those laser beams literally doesn't do anything at all. Which leads me to question what they're even there for. So I guess there's nothing there. I mean, we got two extra energy drinks, which is nice. Because, my god, we're really going to want them. I'm guessing nothing's actually changed around here. Because we haven't had any enemies spawn. And that's always the best way to tell. Whether you're making progress is you see cutscenes, uh, or more commonly, you get enemies spawning left, right. Before you know it, you got a zombie and you're in a colon. Uh, right, let's go through that. Yeah, that fucking thing there. Can't believe it. Two energy drinks in there. Not bad, game. Not bad. So, we want to go down there, down and around, which is going to lead us down to deck five. And now we have the digit code, the nine digit code. It should all be gravy, baby. Should be making some decent, solid progress. You know that stuff, progress. I like progress and it feels like we haven't really made any decent progress for quite a few videos now. I mean, I guess we have, it's been slow, slow progress, but uh, we want to make some serious progress. Because I want to find out what the hell happens at the end of her game. Because we don't know how she escapes either. Does she escape? Does she drown? I don't know. Spoiler, I'm pretty sure she's probably not going to die. However, having said that, um, I didn't expect Bob to die either. But, I mean, hey, it, <laughs> it happened. Uh, I was still waiting for you know, something to come of that, like he found a vaccine or even though we heard the gunshot, he's actually shooting a, a zombie in the face or something like that. But nope, no, I, I guess he actually genuinely did die. Very surprised. I am going to drop a save. Um, because uh, I'm going to drop a save there. Yeah, everything's recording, everything's going. <sighs> I don't really miss memory cards, I'm not going to lie. Although one cool thing about memory cards is if your system dies, you know, you can just take your memory card out and play it on another system. Oh! Captain Lang. Okay. Lieutenant Manning? I heard you were okay from the Colonel. I'm glad to see that with my own eyes. I'm glad to see that you're well too. I'm not so easy to kill, you know. <laughs> How's your search coming? Things are going well. I have received some data on Ark from the doctor and taken some pictures. You saw it? Yes. It has grown to an enormous size near the nuclear core on Deck 6. The nuclear core. Amazing strength. Interesting. Captain, are you okay? Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. Don't worry. So, you only have some data and images. Did you get a sample? 
No, just the data and images. Hmm. Then I'll get the sample. You get the data and images to headquarters as fast as you can. But it's my job. Don't worry. It doesn't matter who does it. You get out as quickly as you can and begin to analyze the data. Yes, sir. Here, this is an airtight capsule to store the sample. Hmm. So she came here. Um... Captain Lang. Lieutenant Man. Ah, that's where we that's what we discovered them doing. Jack? I'm glad to see that both of you are okay. So they had plans to smuggle Is that shit out. Okay? It's nothing. Lieutenant Manning and I were just discussing our duties. Isn't that right, Lieutenant? Yeah. Yes, that's right. I see. Let's cut the chit chat. Everybody knows what they have to do. We're running out of time. Right. <clears throat> okay. So, we interrupted you guys up to no good. Lieutenant, take care. And get out of here as soon as you can. Mm-hmm. Let's cut the chit-chat. Everybody knows what they have to do. We're running out of time. So Jack's really in the dark here. These two were sent in, I guess, to take... Um... Ah, one second, guys. These guys were actually sent in originally to get samples of this thing. But uh, who knows? Did they actually know it was going to be as extreme of a situation? I'm not sure. Yeah, these two. These two are very sus. I guess it's a need-to-know basis. And Jack, you don't need to know. Right. Having said that, considering they see what actually transpires here... Wait a minute. That bit over there has already fallen down and Jack's... Okay. I'm not sure how well this timeline uh, connects, although uh, it's been a while since I played it, so I'm not 100% sure myself. Right, let's get out of here. Now, can we go through here? Num yeah. Inputted. Good. I'm glad we inputted it. Lock deactivated. Nameplate is no longer necessary. Nameplate is discarded. Excellente. Right, well... Hmm. Jessifer! Sandra, it's good to see you're okay. Well, I mean, at least that's something. Thanks. To tell you the truth, I had given up all hope and the door suddenly shut. It looks like the main computer is running wild. That must be the cause of the malfunction. The main computer? What a pain. <laughs> oh, yeah. The data is in the medical room. Can I ask you to go and get it? I'll deactivate the security lock and find an escape route. There's not much time. It's better if we split up. We'll meet up again later. Be careful, Sandra. Yeah, you too. Yeah, gee, Sandra. I hope we don't get horribly murdered. Uh, cool. Hey, how come she could just run off? And we can't. I... Hey... Okay, so I guess we're going to go to the um, medical room then, which was the one down here, question mark. Uh, the body of a researcher, yeah. Well, we want to be packing a decent amount of heat down here. Yes. <clears throat> okay. Oh! Alright, that'll do. That'll do, donkey. That'll do. Wait, what? Oh, part of the body is gone. I thought it said the body's gone. I was like, what shit are you chatting? Now, this room was packed with these bastards before. These ginger fishes. There's like two of them in here or something. Yeah, there's definitely something in here. This place crawls. Right, there you are, you bastard. How are we out of range? No, we're not out of range. That's cool. Right. Splash one. But the body's gone. Oof. Okay, so. Ah, there's the medical data. This must be the data Sandra was talking I about. I guess so. Possible military usage of ARC. 
NTA Information Department, Section 1, Sandra Cates. I, Lieutenant Sandra Cates, along with Lieutenant Mark Stillwell. Well, <laughs> he's definitely still now. Get it? Because he's dead. <laughs> uh, okay. Boarded the Heimdall to stop any and all terrorist activity by the Southern Cross. I have also been asked to investigate the possibility that the Weapons Development Department is developing biological weapons. Lieutenant Stilwell has been excluded from any knowledge pertaining to this mission. Captain Connolly and his team who boarded with Ark showed no indications that they were analysing Ark. During the panic of the engine room, Incident, it seems clear that they were able to acquire a sample. The ship has become full of mutants. During the mayhem and chaos, I was able to sneak into the research lab. I was able to make a copy of the orders from Colonel Bryan of the Development Department. Section 3, according to the orders, Ark is much more dangerous than we could have imagined, ever imagined. Of all the mutants on board the ship, are apparently hosts to Ark's destiny of destruction. It is no longer possible to remove Ark from the ship, but Ark does. if Ark does make it off the ship, I recommend that Colonel Bryan be detained and questioned. Appendix. A. Ark Research Report. B. Ark Infestation Report. Appendix A. Ark Research Order. Confidential. Development Team Section 3 investigated the possible military use. Uh, yeah, okay. When Ark German germinates, it releases a soft green tissue. This tissue attaches itself to a living organism, and using the organism as a host, it begins its propagation, growing into a large plant-like organism. Effects of infestation on subject. The host to Ark loses all physical and mental control. In addition, the subject shows incredible strength and rejuvenation abilities. The strength and resistance to gunfire by infested crew on the ship is proof of this. Use as a biological weapon. The parasitic organism shows an incredible ability to adjust to its environment to protect itself. The resistance to gunfire and ability to at uh, attack is proof of this. The potential for military use is astronomical. Well, not really. I'd better really. hurry up and find Sandra. I wonder where she is. Yeah, I hope she hasn't like got herself horribly killed by something. I mean, the idea that we couldn't have done this together is stupid. But that's par for the course for these games. Let's go. Right. Yeah, let's smuggle some of this shit out because, gee, that's a genius idea. Jesus. All right. Now, hopefully these uh, tickle fish aren't still swimming around. These ankle biters... There we go. Even with these big, strong, muscly legs of hers, she can't charge through this water. Although Sandra looked like she's got pretty thick legs herself. Uh, right. Should we check these other rooms? Probably a good idea, I suppose. Um, right. Now, where would she be? She said she was going to, like, get out of here, which is fine, but... What's a save room? Ah, oh, magazine! Ooh, am I glad we popped in here? Yeah, not bad. T7s, I mean, I guess. Why not? Two grenades, very nice. Very, very nice. I mean, the grenade launcher is an odd weapon. Like, it doesn't seem to be that useful. Unless you're fighting a boss, and then it seems to be pretty damn useful. Three pistol magazines, not bad, I'll have them. I guess there is enough ammo in this game. It's just very spread out. Two machine gun mags as well, very nice. Is that 60 bullets, I guess? Yes! We're building up a nice stock now. Now, anything else in these? T9s, that's cool. You know what I'd like? Wouldn't mind some health. I'll forego some ammo for some health. Nothing useful. Nothing useful. Oh, come on, game. Come on, what's behind door number two? Door number three? Door number four? Door number five? Ah, you son of a bitch. 
Well, that's some grade A bullshit. Uh, yeah, we're safe. Never look a safe spot in the house. In the <laughs> my brain. Maybe I've got arc. Yes, maybe. Yes, my brain is uh, not exactly functioning properly right now. Um. Yeah. Never look a safe spot in the map. I guess. Now, um, I mean, I guess we could go down to those two areas, but I'm fairly sure that there's going to be nothing in them. Hey, you little son of a bitch. I see you there. I see. I see you. Oh, nice. I do like that reload animation. I really do. Uh, I'm guessing... No? Okay, I was going to say this door looks like it's fucked, but nope. Not hearing anything. Ooh. Oh, that's the dude with, like, a flower coming out of his mouth. That's really cool. He must have been um, infected fairly early on, I guess. Alright. Well, nothing. Oh, man. I like the plant uh, aspect of the infection, actually. It's different. It's cool. It's very Last of Us-y, except Last of Us is more of a fungus. In fact, it's not exactly more of a fungus. It is a fungus. But I suppose there's mushrooms in this as well. What I like about the, the Cordyceps uh, angle in the Last of Us, though, is it's very much grounded in reality. It is using a real worldly thing. Just twisted. Right, let's go. Oof, there we go. Yeah, I I swear as well, per bullet, the automatic does more damage. Which in that aspect, I like the fact that uh, not only is it an automatic weapon, that it seems or perceives to do more damage, which is nice. Ah, let me guess. Nothing in there. Nope. Mr. Jack took the fucking lot. Yeah, we know about that. Jack, you bastard, you took the fucking lot. You didn't even leave us nothing, man. Alright, well, <laughs> I've wasted your time and mine. So, let's get out of here. I'm guessing we now have to link up with Sandra. But she could be, like, anywhere. I suppose we're probably going to get, like, a phone call from her or some, something. Saying she's somewhere. <laughs> I mean, everybody's somewhere, right? Ah, God damn it. This is good exercise. Pounding through this water. Very good for the thighs and the buttocks. There we go. Flood your house with water. And you don't need to go to the gym. Jim, who's that? <laughs> Come on, get your ass up. Right, not bad. Now, we've got what she wanted. Let's go see. I'm guessing we're going to get a radio transmission or something from her. And she's going to ask us to meet her. Um, right, okay. So we can't go through that bullshit. Uh, keep that weapon gripped. I mean, with any luck, we've got enough uh, submachine gun ammo to actually get through the game. I would have thought so. Uh, now where the fuck do we go? Uh, we can't really go through that. Yeah, I guess we're going back up. Question... Oh, hello. Jessica, can you hear me? Sandra, where are you? Yeah, I'll go now. Okay, so back up to deck four then. Well, alrighty. We can do that. So, up by the hangar. Where was that? I think that was the large... Yeah, that was like the main 
um, main area that we came from. Ah, perfectly placed save room. Look at that shit, guys. I mean, this game's certainly going on, but I think that's because I'm walking around in circles for half of it. Right, well, I mean, I guess when we come back, we're going to go find Sandra, see what the hell she's up to. And hopefully get out of here, question mark. But I've got a feeling it's not going to be exactly that easy. But thanks for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.